Hey Rolling Hills kids, I've got this week's Sunday school lesson for you. We're going to be reading from Deuteronomy chapter 10, starting in verse 12. Um, we're talking about how God loves immigrants. Um, an immigrant is someone who is not from, from here. They're from somewhere else, so they're called an immigrant. It's a new, someone coming to a new place where they are not, it's new to them, they're not from there. Um, the rest of it is talking, of this chapter is talking about how um, we need to be following God's commandments, what God is, you know, he's created all of this for us and we need to be following um, his commandments. But I'm going to zoom in on just a couple of the sentences in here um, because that's what we're going to talk about today. Um, it's talking about how he is the God of gods and the Lord of lords. He is the great God, the mighty and awesome God. He ensures that orphans and widows receive justice. He shows love to the foreigners living among you and gives them food and clothing. So you too must show love to foreigners, for you yourselves were once foreigners in the land of Egypt. And it goes on to say, when your ancestors went into Egypt, there were only 70 of them. And now... The Lord your God has made you as numerous as the stars in the sky. So it's talking about an or let's talk about a couple of the words. An orphan. An orphan is a child that doesn't have any parents. That's it's called you're called an orphan if you don't have any parents. And a widow. We talked about a widow a couple weeks ago. A widow, it's a woman um who whose husband has died, so she's alone. She's called a widow. Um so it's talking about how God makes sure that orphans and widows are taken care of and he shows love to the foreigners the immigrants living among us giving them food and clothing so let's let's think for a second why why would someone choose to be an immigrant why would someone leave leave their home their homeland how what do you there's a few there's lots there's lots of reasons um but some things we hear about frequently are people who need to leave their country, their home, um, for job reasons. There's no work for someone for them to do. So they go to a different place, you know, that where they can have work. And that's something, you know, your parents maybe have changed jobs and here sometimes for some people, it's just, they can find work in the same area where they live and some people can't. So they have to move to find work to be able to provide for themselves and for their family. Some other reasons people move, um, some, some people are forced to leave their home because for a lot, for lots of reasons, um, sometimes because of war, you know, we're very lucky that we have not experienced having war, you know, fighting going on in our, in our communities, like some countries do. Um, so some people are fleeing that type of situation where they want to keep their family safe. They want to keep themselves safe. So they leave because of war. Um, so there's lots of reasons. Talk with your family about that. Talk with mom and dad about that, about um, what are some reasons people would choose to leave their home? And let's think about what that might feel like to be an immigrant, to be new somewhere. Um, how do you think that would feel like you you could kind of think about it when, um, when you go into like you, the new school year or you know when you join a new team sometimes it, you feel you're the foreigner you're the new one so how does that make you feel when you've joined a new thing um, and you're the only one that's new that can be scary. It can be intimidating. It can make you feel anxious. That kind of feeling inside where you're like, mm, that's, that can happen. Some people really enjoy being the new one and don't worry about it at all. And that's cool. That's great for some people that feel that way that they, you know, they really enjoy being the new one and enjoy getting to learn all the new things. It's exciting for them. How does it make, how do you think you would feel if you were the new new to a new home or a new neighborhood or a new country how would that make you feel so 
it says that God loves immigrants, giving them food and clothing. What do you think it might have been like to experience God's compassion if you were an immigrant in a completely new place? Feeling taken care of by God. Do you think that would give people comfort? It would make you feel, even if you didn't feel at home, but knowing that God loves you can help you feel at home, right? What are some ways that we can show compassion to immigrants, to the new people in our lives and in our world? What comes to mind? We can certainly pray for them. That's one thing we can always do. We can pray for people. We can pray for safety. We can pray for comfort and for them to feel loved. We can also, you know, if someone comes into our classroom that is from a different country, you know, if someone comes into your neighborhood who's from a completely different country, you can ask them about where they're from and learn about it. Cause that's, you know, that's exciting to learn about new places and other people's stuff. That would be really fun to do and really nice. And that shows that you would care by asking someone about their, their experiences. So talk with your families about what are some other ways that you can um, show compassion to the new people, the immigrants in our lives, okay? Let's pray. Dear God, thank you for teaching us today how important immigrants are. We pray for all the immigrants around the world who are in different places trying to make a new life. We pray for their safety. We pray for those who are powerless and feel forced to move from their homes. Help us remember them in our prayers and be hospitable. Give us and our church courage and compassion to help immigrants in ways that we can. Amen. Thanks, guys. We will see you soon, hopefully. Have a great day. Bye.